Hey, it's Coach Josh with Hawkins Family Farms. Uh, thanks for tuning in and watching this week. Uh, we had several fun, exciting new things going on in our place, so uh, watch and find out. Not much happening in the pool. One, it's been closed, so hope to have that open up and us back in the pool soon. Nonetheless, lots of things on the farm. Watch a live, actually it's not live because that's pre-recorded, but watch a chicken be birthed. That right there, folks, is a thing of beauty. Not, not the wood chips, even though that is very pretty. But my 12-year-old little boy out there working like a man. The cool thing was, is I got home from school today and he said, hey dad, would you like me to go out and start moving wood chips? That melted my heart. Getting work done. All right. So there you have it. 24 hours later, all spread out. I, we moved some of the hoop house and into a compost bin as well. Obviously didn't cover the entire garden but we'll get some more um, i've already talked to paul and he's going to bring us more fill in the rest of the garden so this is more of a back to eden garden that we're going to go with here and i'm super excited about that come show you what the hoop house looks like nowadays uh, as i walk that direction you can watch these two clowns it's like a circus over here circus clown number one circus clown number two Oh my goodness. Well, look at this. Look how nice this looks in here. Looky here. Oh yeah, we've got us uh, some raised beds in here with uh, wood chip walkways throughout. Uh, created raised beds. We'll, uh, we'll get some uh, compost going here. Peas, broccoli, some cilantro etc just a few plants there and then amy planted potatoes in those beds back there we've got some more that will go on here in a little while so looking good so we have a chick hatching right here we actually have a second one that egg but this egg is the main one do you see that you can see the beak every now and then actually right now you can see it This is the first time we have hatched chicks in this thing. Seems like it never works. <laughs> Finally is. You can even hear them. This chirping. Chirping. I don't see any. <laughs> With uh, so many uh, different manures and whatnot that we have on our farm, whether it be pig manure or chicken manure, um, uh, a lot of food scraps and whatnot, we do a lot of composting here. You can see here we have uh, we have a couple bins. This is uh, a lot of food scrap. This is like the just started compost. This is the midsection compost, and then this is almost done composted. And uh, again, a lot of food scraps, 
bedding, uh, spent bedding, and manures have been spread on that. We're going to try something new, and I'm excited to share it and show it with you. Uh, new little bin here. Got a, a variety of things. Paper, cardboard, wood chips, uh, food scraps, rabbit manure that was donated by a buddy. And then this idea also came from the same buddy, Mr. Andrew Grout. Thank you again for your input. Um, you've been a, a great resource, a valuable uh friend and resource to lean on and he gave me this idea and we're gonna give it a try i have a pound of uh red worms and uh i've heard great things about this did a little bit of research and um we're gonna add these red worms in here and um let them do their thing from what i understand they are amazing composters and if you feed them the right stuff they will turn this into this entire pile into amazing compost and uh, and then they'll also reproduce a lot while doing so we'll give you updates and keep you posted as it goes but um yeah here we go red worm composting it's been an exciting week around here thus far and it's only tuesday um, we end up hatching six barred rock chicks and they all seem to be doing really well in here can you see them down there hey chicks how's it going and uh yeah so not bad six out of nine as our first successful incubation and uh Really our first breeding experiment where we did purebred barred rocks. We are cruising down the highway, coming back from a good friend Jeff Stevens' place. Man, that guy's got a cool setup, nice farm, over 160 sheep, but he also is into chickens. And uh, man, he's been good to us. He gave us some uh, breeding stock, white leg chains last year and then this year he hooked the boys up with some more show birds and uh he's taking good care of us so uh yeah thank you jed so we got a uh blue orpington hen that's i guess a pullet right now a black orpington pullet and then joe keen point at the cockerel the black orpington cockerel yeah he's the furthest one back so you can kind of see the blue. It's actually more grayish, but so three really nice birds and he made sure they were, we picked out good birds. And everything. So thanks again for watching. We hope you enjoyed uh, the show and watching a chicken being born. Uh, tune in for more and future videos as things go on around our farm and here at the pool. Uh, again, thanks for subscribing below and following along our little journey. Until next time, take care.